Oh, I'm lost. What the hell? What the hell? Where am I going? Oh, damn. Welcome to the city of Longjing in northeast China, in the province of Jilin. And now I'm walking toward the center of the city. But let me show you something. Because this region has something particular. I don't give you the answer yet. You think by yourself. Small tip, look at the names of the shop. Answer later. But right now, let's go to the center and check about the city. There is something I want to show you. But the weather is pretty nice for the season. Minus six, minus seven, so not so cold. Hope my hand won't get frozen by holding the phone to film. Very lovely music. I want to feel it. I want to dance too. <clears throat> Look at this. And here we are. The Liu Dao He. Quite a long walk. Oh, and I think on the other side you see these things here. These are to make the Mintayu dry. Mintayu is kind of a fish. And here in the region you make the, the, the fish dry. You take some piece like this. Oh, well, with the hand first, but with the, the teeth, you can eat that with beer. Oh, pretty tasty, quite a nice snack to go along your booze. And, yes, <laughs> I was going to say, I'm not sure if you can hear in background, there is some activities going on for the new year. Indeed, Chinese people love to do some firework during the Chinese New Year and it's gonna be worse and worse during the day until tonight Ooh. oh someone is having fun there the ice skating plaza of Longjin and you can totally imagine if you add some of this lovely music we had before. Add it here and it will bring some grandmothers, some eyes from everywhere to come and do some frenetic dances. We are in the kind of entertaining street. You can see a lot of KTVs. I think this street was called Meshudie, which is the food food street let's call it like this a lot of small restaurant wow look at this some funny things to crack oh. that's some serious stuff going on here You don't want to light this in your own apartment. Behind me, the famous statue of Longjin. It was actually Longjin means, well, we see it better from the side. It's a dragon. And the Highland Champs Yejie, which is basically the Champs Elysees of Longjin, with a lot of shops. Oh, by the way, I met a new friend here. There is Mr. Alcohol with the character of the alcohol on him pour you, pouring you some drink so if you come to Longjing you can come and have a drink poured by Mr. Alcohol so we are now in the market as you can see it's very busy people all around
Very busy. A lot of people. Very, very busy. I don't know what what this is. And vegetable, not variety of vegetable. Because of Chinese New Year, which starts tomorrow, everything will be closed. So the basically the whole city is going there to buy some food, fruit, vegetable, meat and it was very crowded so very difficult to find things Ooh. very difficult to shoot not without disturbing the people and you can see some of these restaurants like Chua this Chua sign here and you can imagine two pieces of meat and a stick between and yes you can guess it's some barbecue we have the primary school. Damn. It's quite big. Big school actually for the city. I like the contrast with the commercial with the girl on it. I have some bad news. I was expecting was here the other day Let me show you and as you can see on the floor there is all this corn so basically they're doing street popcorn but the person is not here what they do is they put the corn in a kind of a vacuum not vacuum chamber but and it's heated on the fire and they turn 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 to distribute the heat like that inside the pressure builds up and when it's hot enough there is enough pressure in it the person with a very confident gesture open it and then you have popcorn unfortunately mr popcorn decided to go popping some corn somewhere else i'm not sure we will find him but who knows? Anyway, there is something else we can go and visit. In case you still need a tips about what is special in this region, here are some local clothes. Look at this, even for the kids. I'm pretty sure you now have an idea, but I'll give the answer later, see if there is something else interesting. It can be easily minus 20 degrees, maybe sometimes minus 30 degrees. So yeah, you better have a house with a solid heater. And by the way, we are getting close to my favorite restaurant in town. Very good. You have this long mian which is cold noodle so basically it's cold shunji long mian ah it's so good definitely highly recommended but this is the me from the future because the other day we didn't have the opportunity to come here but i wanted to show you what this long mian this cold noodle are so see. under we have some buckwheat noodle with some kimchi cucumber some meat egg and as you can see on the soap here inside we even have well not sure you can see it but some ice it's a very 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 cold so eat the, the noodle like this cold and as it's difficult to chew you actually use the scissor to cut the noodle all right let's give it a try 
Mm. And we also have here some goboro, which is another speciality. Some some pork made with sweet and sour. Mm. I love the crispy around it. Just finished my buckle wheat cold noodle bowl. So let's go back to the me of the past. And how do I cross? Let's cross from here. We can see again we are back to the famous dragon of the city. Oh, and here we have another treat. It's a uh, hulu kind of fruit made with sugar all around. And that's another way to use the firework in China when you have a shop. So in this case, we were in front of the Den Star Longjing. So people would do firework to wish their shop good luck for the new year. Uh, no, like a tomato. Wow, we got one of these cute little fish. Let's try. Mm. Okay, so. Mm. Let's do like this. It's not very convenient to shoot with the phone, actually. Should I bring a normal camera? Are you here? Huh? Oh. Right. It used to look like a fish. A bit crispy. And this one has some raspberry inside. Mm. Not bad. I didn't get the popcorn, but at least I got some raspberry fish. We are not too far from the center. Uh, that's the thing is, you might see a lot of places that are not being used. And this young people would go to bigger city to work, banking some money and come back for Chinese New Year, for example. So yes, it's a region where you will have more older people. some delivery daylight firewall I'm sure the people the people living in ah, I'm sure the people living in the apartment just in front of the place where they sell the firewall are very happy today Oh, yes, actually, what you people do in this, the region is they would buy white alcohol like this. So they would infuse this alcohol for some weeks, give some fruity flavor, or if it's with some herbs from the mountain, they would then also call it yaojo, yaojo which is a sort of medicine alcohol. <laughs> which is a great excuse. I need to get some medicine. That's actually the sort of popcorn I'm talking about. But it's a bit, the bag is a bit too big for me. And here we are. Look at this. Welcoming the year of the tiger in front of a monument. Ah, there is a lot of history around here. With the word at the top, Bu Wang Chu Xin Lao Ji Sheming. Wow, look at this. Very nice statue. Maybe I'm getting closer. I'm not sure who is this person. 
There is a lot of statue of him. Oh, look at this. Who is it? Quite well detailed, it's very nice. Really. Ah, is it some of the people who actually founded the region? We can see also the soldier holding the flag, I guess red flag, bringing the revolution forward. Actually there is one even nicer here, whole sculpture. Can imagine people because you can imagine as it's very cold weather there were not a lot of people living here back in the days so people had to come had difficult life look at the beast oh wow you can feel the soldiers waiting for a long time in the snow, maybe hours. And you see even the detail, the ice on the hat. I'm not sure if it's rendered that well on the video, but to look it for in, in real person, it's very nice. There's a little house there. What's inside? Now it's closed. There is no way to go inside. Oh, oh, it's our friend with the glass. Who is having a meeting? Oh. Who is? Soldier at the entrance. That's the tricky, tricky part. Left. All right, let's check this one. We have a small, I'm not sure if it's a pagoda, but how you would call this? Something I like to do, well, this one doesn't have, but some of this place you go in the, under it and you watch above you. Sometimes it's, there is a lot of small painting, and you can see all this nicely done pass, which is very lovely. And then last years, in the, the mountain all around the city, they built, I don't know, hundreds of kilometers of this pass. It's making, making very pleasant to walk. Well, maybe for young people it's easier on, to go on normal paths, but I can imagine for older people, it's not that easy. We have another of this house. Secret discussion happening. Guard at the entrance. Wow. Let's go up there. See what's here. Hopefully you can get a view of the city. You can see the whole city there. It's quite a big city though. A little bit closer. And yes, we have the memorial. It is indeed the memorial for the war against Japan. With all the names. And oh Another tip again, if you're still wondering what I say at the beginning, what makes this region special. I like it that they put this kind of monument in a park. We can see here, well, this part doesn't have snow, but there is a hole running track I don't know how, how far this one is but it must be nice to come in spring 
In summer too, but summer is not too hot here. I guess that's again our friend with the glasses. Yes. Oh, is it? I'm not sure. Oh, and we are in. Yes, so the name of the street is here. Tingnian Belo, which is uh, the north. Yos, uh, the Yos North Road. Oh, I love this sound, you know, even more when actually you go on the crispy side of the road. Hey. So finally, I found a place in China where it's quiet. Yeah. <laughs> so I can finally explain you what this region has in particular and you can get an answer here because if you look at the writing on the top here it's written in Korean and on the bottom in Chinese and the reason is there is Korean Ethnic here actually and it's not something uncommon in China because in China most of the population will be Han ethnic but then there is also 56 minorities the Korean, the Mongolian the Qiang, Qiangzu, Qiangzu which is another one and in this region in particular which is close to North Korea you have Korean that's why you have all these names of restaurants, shop in both Chinese and Korean. And also the food, as I showed before, this long mian, the cold noodle, it's very particular. Yeah. <laughs> I'm really not successful at saying hello to the people on this Qingyan Beilu, the North Yost Road. Which is funny because the only people I see on this road are old people. <laughs> Maybe the road is very long and, and when they start walking on this Qingyan Bilu, they were young and by the time they arrive here they get old. And we reach the top. Well, not that's a big accomplishment, not that tall, but still. I can show you the view. And if we zoom over there, you can see this tower, which I think you can go to the top, but what I'm sure of is on this mountain here, you can walk and have another view of the region. I bring myself a little treat to congratulate me for Walking on this Xinyan Beilu, a little bottle of Lan Mei is written on it, which is, I suppose, kind of local booze. Yeah, at least it's from this province, made out of Gaoliang, which is barley. Some. Oh! Blue blueberry, yeah, blueberry, some blueberry juice. So cheers! And to the Chinyan Belu, to Longjing, to this great landscape. Hmm. It's not bad actually. It's pretty good for the 10 yuan I paid, which is a bit more than. 1 euro, a bit less than 2 dollars. Even here in this Qingyan Beilu, they also have this kind of machine to train, to do some exercise. It's very basic. That you can find pretty much everywhere in China, even here in the Qingyan Beilu. I'm not sure, I'm, I'm sure I'm gonna fall if I try this one. Ugh. Oh damn, that's really sketchy. Like this, yes. 
So, ooh, trying not to fall, ooh. So here we are, what a great way to finish this video. Doing some exercise in our Xinyan Beilu with this fantastic bottle of Lanme alcohol. Hope you enjoy and who knows, maybe see you next time. Bye bye.